Hey, Lash friends, I miss you guys. I know that you're, some of you are missing your lashes or your lashes are crazy like mine. I don't know if you can see, I have a few just hanging on. Um, I'm gonna help you get them off. I know um, a lot of you have been texting me, what do I use? Don't use oil, no coconut oil or any kind of oil because what happens is the oil actually creates a chemical reaction with the lash adhesive, making the lash adhesive swell up. The lashes then clump together and can cause more lash damage and be even harder to get off. So the best way to remove it is with professional remover. And normally I would never sell that, but in this desperate time, I think we've come to desperate measures and I want you guys to be able to get your lashes off safely if you have to. So first, first thing is if they look okay, use mascara, use eyeliner, just try to let them go as long as you can. Um, but if you're really feeling desperate, like you have two stragglers or three stragglers and you just really want them off, I'm gonna show you how to do it with a professional remover. Um, the remover looks like this. It's our, oh, it's backwards in the camera, but it's a gel remover. Um, and it does sting if it gets in your eye. It's not gonna blind you or anything like that, but it does hurt. Um, so you wanna be careful to do one eye at a time so it doesn't get in there. I'm also gonna put in the kit some gel pads and then the lash serum. So you guys can also grow your natural lashes back. So by the time I'm ready to see you again, you have fuller, thicker, longer lashes that we can make stunning. Um, I know if you're like me, you just can't wait to get yourself put back together. And I'll apologize right now for my nails because that's gonna be my next video is how to get these gels off. My gels are so hideous right now, so I'm sorry. Okay, so gel pads. You're gonna need these, you're gonna need a bunch of Q-tips. I'm not putting those in the kit because I'm sure you all have cotton swabs or something at home. So you're gonna put this gel pad right under your eye and I'm gonna do one eye at a time. We're gonna put a pea sized amount. And if you look, this is really thick. It's, it's a gel texture, so it's not going to like drip in the eye. I'll hold it close so you can see. Um, so it won't, it won't drip. Um, but you're gonna wanna use a dry Q-tip underneath to catch any excess product to prevent, to prevent that excess product from going in your eye. So I really can't see, so I'm gonna try, <laughs> I'm gonna try to do this in the camera for you guys. Um, got a little makeup left over. Okay, so you're gonna put the, Q, the clean Q-tip underneath and then you're going to keep your eyes shut and saturate all the hairs with the remover. This could take up to three minutes per lash depending how fresh they are and how many you have on. So that's why I say if they still look decent, your best bet is blending them with eyeliner and mascara. This is a last resort. Um, so we're just gonna let them soak basically, let, let it saturate. I'm gonna speed this up so you guys don't have to sit through a torturous long process. So as you can see, this takes a little while and this is actually my first time ever removing my own lashes. Um, I've actually never removed mine, I usually just get a fill. Um, and I certainly have never done it on myself. So usually you'll do both eyes. Like if you're getting it done by somebody else, usually your both your eyes are closed and you're doing it twice as quick. But because we're doing it on ourselves, um, we have to do one eye at a time. So if you have someone at home that can do this for you, um, that's even better. And keep both eyes closed and just do it both at once and you'll be done in half the amount of time. Because basically most of the time is just having this remover kind of sit on the lash and start dissolving the glue. That's what takes the time. So if you just let it sit in our patient, you'll have the best result. I'm gonna get off as many as I can, and then if there's a few stragglers, I'm just gonna leave them because it's not worth causing lash damage. They're gonna fall off eventually. The other thing you could do if you're really desperate is trim them, but you have to be careful because if you trim them, they can just look really blunt like a broom, and that could look worse. So if you do trim them, try to nibble them at an angle, so kind of like when you get your hair cut, so that they still have a taper because the extensions come to a natural taper. So I'm gonna see if any of these come off. I think I got off as many as I can. I have my um, magic eraser towel, but you can use any towel. I just like 
this or the ones we have at the store, the, the bamboo organic ones, because they won't pull the lashes. So um, it's a little bit more gentle when you clean your eye area. And it looks like I still have a few left. Darn it. But I think I can work with that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then I'll show you guys what I do next. Okay guys, well, I think I could get off as much as I could gently and I'm gonna leave the rest because I don't wanna rip out my lashes and that's what you should do too. The next thing I'm gonna do is just put on my Lash Grow Serum and then mascara, a little eyeliner, and it will hopefully all blend and I can survive another few weeks and hopefully get my lashes back on. Um, and I hope to see you guys soon too. So let me show you. I'm gonna use my Lash X Pro Liner in the clear. And if you haven't used this product yet, it's amazing. It triples your natural lashes, your brows, and your lash line. You have to do it every day because it works locally in the hair follicle. There's no steroids or prostaglandins. So you do it every day and your lashes will triple in about three weeks. So just put on like you would eyeliner. You can see I still have a few extensions left. I'm assuming they'll just fall off eventually. You could do another round of this um, in a day. Just keep doing a little bit each night. Um, but I don't want to torture myself. It does sting the skin a little bit if you keep rubbing, so. Um, grower on, if you want to wear your eyeliner, you can smoke your eyeliner. Um, right now I'm not going anywhere. So you could either use the clear or the colored lash serum. Either will work. The color will hopefully blend your, your lashes a little better. And I'm going to use my Lash X mascara. Um, you could use any mascara, obviously, because we don't care if the lashes last at this point. But I like this one because it helps my lashes grow. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. You guys can see how they blend or not blend, we'll see. They also naked. I've literally had my lashes on since 2008. This is the barest I've been in a long time. And I know for a lot of you guys, it's the same. So hang in there. It's not that I think my lash, my natural lashes, I don't think they're damaged at all. It's just I haven't seen them in so long. You get used to that really dramatic look with the extensions. I'll check in with you guys so you can see the growth. I'll do my grower every day so you can see it over the next few weeks. Well, there you have it. I'm naked. Um, I will see you guys soon. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Call me, text me, email me. And I will put a link for getting the remover if you want to get it. And also the lash serum, at the very least, even if you keep your lashes on, just keep using that growth serum so that way you'll have really thick, healthy, long lashes to work with when we finally can get back into the salon. Love you all. Hope you're staying safe and we'll see you soon.